to modular classroom today in this video we will see one of the online assessment tool called quiz i is it quizzes it is one of the tool that allows the teacher to conduct the student based formative assessments in a fun and engaging way for the students of all ages and class from kg to higher secondary and for university level also and it works on any device like web browser ios android and chrome applications also and it allows the teachers to create their own quizzes and they also can use a quiz from the library that is other persons those who have created also they can able to apply for their students and after providing the students with a unique access code that quiz can be recorded live as a current time to real time competition or that particular quiz can also be assigned as a homework to the students uh, giving a specific deadline time and after the quizzes have been completed the students can review their answers also and the teachers the they can collect the resulting data that has been compiled to a excel file uh, so that they can able to clearly visualize the students performance and that uh, on the same time that uh, there will uh, option called immediate feedback that can be used by the teachers to revise the future learning activities so that they can able to concentrate uh, the flow average students also and uh, the teacher can also able to access hundreds of ready made learning quizzes available in that uh, quizzes library or else they can create their own uh, quiz also uh, for that they have to join as a teacher and they have to pick a quiz and use that particular code for a virtual room and they have to give to their students and uh, only the point here is the personal information that the instructor need to provide is only their valid email address that is the only requirement and that is one of the privacy policy of that particular site and they say they will not be shared with the, anyone except to compile with their law with their website rights and so how you are going to use a quiz just go to google and type quiz is it quiz i is it is a spelling just click on the first link which comes the world's most engaging learning platform this is one of the tool that now we are going to see and this is the logo for that particular quiz just click on this first link first if you not have a uh, signed up you have to first sign it by your gmail account the first requirement is that as i have already signed it i'm just going directly so as the left pan you can see this is a basic account because we are not upgraded to any super or premium account we're just using the basic plan so it says basic account and here is, is a button called create you're going to create a quiz now by clicking this button and explore my library reports classes settings and more these are the left panel contains like this and in right pan here contains the code quiz library etc so uh, as you can see here this is a basic plan where it allows you to create quiz first option you have to create an account as i have already created i have uh, this particular option is being uh, enabled for me and after creating a quiz or lesson i can start a live session so if you want to use any ready made quizzes you can just give the topic like this here for example if you are a mathematics teacher you can give mathematics so that the ready made mathematics quizzes that are available will be displayed here see how many ready made quizzes are available you can make use of this particular quiz once that particular creator is made their quiz available to, as a public one see these are the 10 questions you can see uh, this is the images they can use or they can give the question like this option they can uh, available this is example for using the ready made quiz it is not only available for mathematics it is available for all the streams and for all the subjects so now i'm going to create a new quiz now we are going to see how to create a new quiz just go to the quiz and click on this create button as you can see there will be two options one one is quiz and second one is lesson first we are going to see how to create a quiz lesson is and uh, it is a, a second format where they, the instructor or the teacher 
will use the slides and multimedia contents that is being combined with ordinary quiz questions and poll questions. Now first we are going to engage a live quiz. So just click on that quiz and here you can see you want to name the quiz. You have to give a relevant name of uh, the particular subject you are going to use. Uh, mathematics or English or physics anything. Since uh, I am going to use a computer, I am going to give the name computer quiz. And my subject is computers. I am clicking on computer. And I am clicking the next save button to continue. Here comes a create a new question type. Here also an option available to search from the ready made uh, library. But I am going to create my own quiz. So I am going to use this various different options like uh, question types like multiple choice, checkbox, fill in the blank, poll, open ended, slide. If I use slide as I already previously said, it will create a lesson. So these are different types of questions I can able to create in my quiz. And after creating a new question button, to add a new question to your quiz, select the type of question. And if you need, you can use the appropriate image for the quiz language. So I'm first I'm choosing multiple choice. And before that, I can give an image to my quiz. First uh, point is to identify this as a computer quiz. I can add an image. I have uh, all if I have downloaded and saved it in my local drive, I can click on this place button so that from the desktop I have kept on quiz images where I'm having quiz. This is the logo and English is my language and grades is from university to university. And who can see this quiz? I can make it just to be public, visible to everyone, and I'm clicking on this save. So first I have given the name computer quiz and I have given the image and now I am going to uh, fill the first question of multiple choice. This is a multiple choice, this is a question and I am clicking on this first one. So here I have to type the question. For example, I am giving a question called which day is celebrated? As computer literacy day. Just I am typing over here and I am giving the option as December 2. Sorry, December 2, March 2, April 2. May 2. So, from this available options, the correct option should be given as a tick mark so that <coughs> they can able to uh, mark as a correct one. So, I am now I am clicking this correct answer as December 2 so that this will be marked as my correct answer. If I can uh, use, I can also uh, expand this particular format. I can able to superscript, subscript, underline, italics, anything I can do. I can do italics. All the options can be marked as italic. So, after that, I can give the time allotted, allotment for this question of 30 seconds or uh, I am giving by default as 30 seconds. I am letting that uh, time should be enabled. See this how this particular uh, right side you can see how this question appears to the students when they are going to attend this quiz. I'm clicking on the save button. So I have added the first question. Now again I'm going to add the second question. So my second question it may include multiple choice or checkbox or fill in the blanks or poll or open ended question or for this lesson I can add the slides. So second I am going to add one of the question with images so I am choosing multiple choice again. So my question here will be the second question is latest 
version of Android. Here for this question, I can able to give the options in image format, not in text format. So I'm clicking this add image button and I have downloaded already and saved in my local drive. So I'm clicking on this image this is android 11 as the first image option answer and second question again i have downloaded all, all three images i am giving this like this i can also able to add the image as my option instead of text i can also use the image that is a uh, interesting and fun made option that is available in this quest online tool so for uh, instead of just typing android 11 android uh, oreo android pi and uh, android 10 i'm just adding the image of this particular so that the students will be somewhat interested to visible the quiz and they will eagerly attend the quiz so here also again the time limit is can be set and i'm just clicking on the save button so correct option is not selected if you just uh, without enabling the correct option if you just click on the save button you will get an error like this correct option not selected so i'm clicking on this correct option then i'm clicking on the save button see two questions i have added again i am going to one question called uh, fill in the blanks fill in the blanks question i'm going to ask i'm going to ask the fill in the blanks as what is Three finger slice. Three finger salutes. This is a question that is that can be asked. So here, as since it is a fill in the blanks, here there will be no options. Only the correct answer can be given here as pressing control alt delete. So this will be the correct answer so after or else i just can give alternative without the particular student typing pressing word they can just uh, give this control all delete also this can this will also be taken as an alternative answer and alternative also if i need i can give like this i can give then here i can give as a 60 seconds or uh, i can raise to two minutes also because they have to type the answer they cannot they cannot able to choose here so they have to type so i am giving 60 seconds or else i can just give two minutes also and i am clicking the save button so now we have added three questions so this is three questions what we have added now we are going to run this particular quiz here you can see add at least four questions so the, here on the right side you can see Add at least four questions. Since I have just only had a three questions, it gives us my quality score as 7.5. If I add the four questions, my quality score will be increased. But for this, this is for the demo purpose, I'm just adding only three questions. So all question changes saved. Here it gives a message like this. I'm clicking this publish button. So here comes the four for this particular quiz. Now it is important point because you have to copy this particular code and you have to share with your students. So once you have it's ready, there is a public link is enabled and you can copy this link and share to your students through any of the uh, mode that is through WhatsApp or through email or through Google Classroom or if you're conducting the online class through Meet or uh, through Microsoft Teams or Zoom. In any way, you can just copy this link and you can paste to them so that they can able to access. So now just I'll copy and send to my uh, students for demo purpose. I have just clicked copy link. So now I have copied the link and share to my students. Now I can just click on the start live quiz so that they can able to access my quiz with the link what I have shared. I'm clicking just <coughs> classic. I'm clicking on this continue. So this is my quiz page. Once if I click this uh, start button, I can able to ask them as the students to play the quiz. And this is the theme background theme that can be set def is set by default. If I can change, I can able to change with this 
different uh, styles of theme. If I need, I can change. Now I'm clicking the start button so that uh, I student players can able to join and play this quiz game. Some of the students have uh, joined and I'm clicking the start button to play the game. Three of the students have joined. Students are playing. We will wait and we can see the results of them. One of the students has completed the test. Students are playing. The status has been updated on the screen as you can see. These students are playing. So these are the winners. First is CR and second one is CR Dal and third one is Shin. So overall the overview is, looks like this participant's name and the score and how many questions they have attempted right and wrong. So if I click on this uh, show time taken it can able to uh, display the seconds how, how many seconds I have taken to answer this question and then if I click on this questions tab the questions will display here. And and the main important uh, next point is you can download the result within an Excel file. Now I can open this Excel file to know the result. And meanwhile, it's opening. We can see another one of the important option called themes. You can able to change the themes here. That is can able to change this winter your team gets uh, changed somewhat uh, the students will be attracted to view uh, the quiz in different mode and see this is the very important uh, option that is available in this uh, free quiz 
it's very attractive to know the results also see if this is a class level and this is a player level correctly three <coughs> for this question three of them have uh, given the correct answer one person have given incorrect and two person they have not at all attended like this it gives the result and uh, answer is like this priya it goes like this so the these three questions and in the player level if you take you can see who played this is the name of the player and their score and their accuracy how much should they have uh, given the answer correct and how which time they have started and which in which phone or in which uh, laptop or desktop they have started given the answer everything you can able to analyze here and uh, with it, uh, by the by the time taken how much of seconds they have taken uh, what is the average score and uh, etc all the details can be downloaded in a single excel file automatically not doing anything you just just uh, clicking on this download result button everything comes to an excel file in a very neat and legible manner this is a very important aspect in this quiz so this quiz is one of the <coughs> you can also play this quiz again and again you can assign the students this quiz as a practice you can also assign them in a different way today also you can assign tomorrow also you can able to ask them to revise anything you can able to done with this quiz so this is very after uh, completing you can just click on this exit button and this will reach uh, add it to your my library over this quiz as you can see this uh, my quiz will be added to your my library as the name computer quiz 23 minutes ago three questions have asked like this it will be added to your library and can also use uh, this reports tab to see the report that is excel file how many uh, code they have uh, given like this you can able to uh, resource so hope you enjoy this video to conduct the online assessment tool by creating this quiz as iz easily and very in a funny manner here comes the videos recorder screen recorder of the participant who attend the quiz and how come the quiz displays on the student point of view can be shown in the forthcoming clips the students are playing The status has been updated on the screen as you can see these students are playing Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.